2019 and 2020. Mm. 2020 is not even over. And, and, and if you look at now what has happened, and I can promise you this, mm. after uh, Corona, if maybe in the next one month we do not have uh, the, 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 the curve flattens and, and, and the people are back to normal, campaigns have now started. And, and people will hit the road and uh, it will be campaigns maybe for BBI, then the next thing it will be, uh, you know, elective campaigns for, for the positions in, in, uh, in, in 2022. Mm. And, and you'd be asking yourself uh, fairly, what will you say we have done for, for, for Kenyans, even as Jubilee? I was elected on that. Let me ask myself. you that question. What will you say that you have done for Kenyans? Well, well that, 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 that's, that, that's what bothers me as, 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 as an elected leader. You know, like, given the promises that we made to the people of Kenya at that time, mm. and, and, and uh, the manifesto we rolled out uh, in 2013, and then we enhanced it in 2017 with even more promises. Mm. Uh, we've we've mid, midstream come up with, with even other promises. Remember the Big Four agenda, and I just saw when I was waiting that you had the PS... Uh, yes, uh, you know, Yeah, yeah, the PS Hinga. Mm. Uh, he's one of those that are carrying out uh, one of the major flagship projects. Public works, so, so, right. so, so you ask yourself, you know, amidst all those uh, promises, even though we are talking about 2022, what 2022 are we talking about if we cannot even get to deliver on, 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 on what we, you know, we promised? Mm. Maybe lastly on that, on that, on that vote, I would, I would say this. Uh, see, observe the president every time when he's ever spoken about the deputy president. You will never uh, pick in one instance when the president directly either insults or necessarily demeans the deputy president. Observe the deputy president himself. When he is addressing issues, then it has to come to maybe an issue about his president. He will always be saying, I'm serving him, he's my boss, I'm following him. I mean, to the extent that you would see that he still limits himself mm -hmm. to, to, to the respect of, 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 of his uh, boss, for that matter. And, and the problem we have is with we guys downwards. You know, you find that... Um, I think sometimes we try to outdo ourselves either for our own ambitions because you want to, to be seen, to, to, to be doing more, or for that matter, you want to uh, haggle and justify a position that you're eyeing or then be, 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 be uh, either accepted or taken as a key man. I think, but I think people speak uh, public, <coughs> down at that level, people speak at the behest or on behalf of who they are championing. Are you now saying that uh, well, well, words were strictly his own? Well, well, and he, if you are saying that, then yes. should it not be taken then that, uh, for instance, in that particular interview where the senator referred to um, David Murade as a dog barking for his master, yeah. then that Mur Murade would be presumably barking for himself. <laughs> no, right? no, you know, let, let, let me tell you, and okay, uh, th that discharge is purely his own to make. I mean, he, he would have to discharge himself and say, I was making the, those comments entirely for my own. And, and, and I believe he's also put a burden uh, on, 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 the, on the back of uh, the deputy president because uh, as, as you move on then, mm. uh, people may want to ask those questions when he said those kind of things. And even others, when we speak the way we speak, uh, are you saying it on, me, on, on behalf of, 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 of the mm. person you're speaking for? Now, uh, the, the, the way we would wrap it as people who, who are helping Kenyans, as patriotic people, is this. That, that uh, why does it get us? And does it help us? Does it even help the cause of the person you're talking about? Okay. Does it help? Does, Take, does, for does, instance, what I've heard, Senator, um, because we speak to all sides, and uh, I've heard from various, uh, uh, you know, uh, Tanga Tanga, if you like, insiders that, you know, Kipchumba Murkomen is the senator elected by the people of Gilgir Marquette. Right. So it helps him and his people for him to voice his political views about how they feel they are being treated. Um, uh, maybe, okay, fine. I appreciate the fact that you talk to them more than uh, I do. I mean, <laughs> in, in your show. <laughs> and then you, you're born to I'm hear. I'm a journalist. Unfortunately, <laughs> I talk to everybody. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> right. you, you get to hear most of these views, all right? Right. But of course, there's also the, uh, the, the social barometer that, the, 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 that we politicians are also able to apply. I mean, I'm with them in, 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 in Parliament. We, we are together. We speak. I, I'm also a leader in the country, so I go around. And, and what, what, what you would want to be listening to, for example, like ask yourself, and in, the, in this discussion about, uh, uh, about revenue sharing, and uh, this is where some, most of these stories came from, 
in revenue sharing, how would you argue that you are that you're voicing the concerns of your people when you are being told that your county for a long time has been without funds for reasons that can be corrected in a revenue formula that's being uh, talked about now. And then you say, for political reasons, I want to oppose that formula. Did you, by the I way... I think they said did, for did, patriotic did, reasons. Did, I mean, uh, to stand in solidarity with others. Well, uh, I mean, uh, that's, that, that's the, 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 the reverse. That, that, that's what they say, but that's not the truth. I mean, did you hear, for example, the senator for Kakamega saying that uh, he has opted not to support that formula, although his county is one of the counties which has the lowest per capita allocation. You, mm. you know, mm. the per capita allocation for the people of Kakamega is le less than 6,000 bob, while there are some who get 21,000. Mm. But he says, I'm opposing it because my governor has never asked me to, or has never told right. me that, that, that the county needs this money. Yes. I mean, you know, when you yeah, hear those kind of things, then, right. then, then you know that, that, that somebody is telling another story. Do you know, for example, and I have nothing against uh, my friend Moore comment, but do you know, when we were speaking about this formula, mm. part of the people who were most concerned about are the people of El Marakwet, because in their location mm. on the land uh, parameter, the people of El Marakwet are excluded to the extent that the consideration for the topography of their area, such that when, if you are in El Marakwet and you want to go to a dispensary across uh, the river, you will have to make miles and miles of meandering, but that's not considered. What we're saying is, in this calculation, can you consider them? And that's why they were gaining more, you know, so that they can cater for those kind of needs. And then... Be that as you, may, I'm sure Senator Mokoman will say the issues of El Geo Market are best uh, canvassed by him. And yes. I don't want us to lose the point, because the point here was the, uh, how, how far the ante was upped, if you like, by his comments. And uh, people may call it... Um, a level of contempt that was previously maybe even disgust um, <clears throat> that was previously unfathomable and cannot one can wonder how you can abide it in any group or organization um, when such vitriol has been um, directed at the head of it yeah. um, <clears throat> therefore my question is do you see more common and many others because he's not alone many others who feel aggrieved with the way in which the deputy president is being treated staying on in jubilee i mean have we reached the crossroads where i mean if that's what you really think about your commander-in-chief or your party leader why are you still in the party and in the same breath where is the secretary general where are the disciplinary organs of the party is this is a jubilee now free for all okay, okay. one uh, and we can agree on one in, on one thing that um I think the disciplinary mechanism of the party would certainly require to up their game, not only about uh, uh, comments by either Mool Komen or any other party official, any other party, by, you know, uh, any, any other politician, but to ensure that there is hygiene, that, that, that the party fabric still holds at least as long as the mandate is still alive up to 2022. Because remember, uh, all of us campaigned on that party ticket. It is that party that has formed government. And, and so we have an obligation, we have a responsibility up to 2022. And, and so uh, no matter what insider politics you want to play, no matter what's happening, there's one thing that you can't afford to lose. You cannot afford to lose what you have contracted with the people because, uh, yes, you may uh, have your own infights as, 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 as a president, as a deputy president, as senator and governor and whoever, uh, but, you know, you signed, you stood before the people. You waved at them and, and raised a contract that you have signed. That this is what we're going to do. So that, that, that fact cannot be lost. And to make sure that that is done, it does not only mean that it is the president or the deputy. or the, I mean, even the party uh, management themselves, they have to ensure that the house is clean, that things are, uh, are being done right. But you've so, come so, from so, just an so, overhaul so, so, so right now, Senator, so, so, of the entire leadership so, of uh, Jubilee in Parliament still can't push through a revenue formula. No. So clearly, those little, you know, kind of tactics are not going to work. And again, I put it to you. Yes. These are people who feel so deeply offended by what is going on right now. And arguably, they represent uh, also, you know, millions of Kenyans who, uh, you know, are of the same view. So is the party going to continue to treat the people with whom you have said they have made a contract to this <laughs> charade that there's even a form of, you know, any agreement that can drive forth the agenda that you promise Kenyans. Why, why remain in this kind of nonsensical you, uh, back you, and forth amongst you, each other? You know, uh, the, uh, the Constitution uh, ties 
uh, the deputy president and the president like, like Siamese twins until 2022, unless any one of them decides to resign. And, and so for all they do, for all the love they have for each other or for all the hate they have for each other, they would have to work together at least until that contract is over. And that, that's to how, work that, together that, or to sabotage and, and, each other? And, 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 and now... To you know, work together or to sabotage uh, each well, other? Well, I mean, that, the contract is to serve the people. Whatever, whatever happens uh, about the side shows, and that's what I was coming to because of the question you asked, mm. you know, I mean, then is it, is it logical, is it sensible that, 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 uh, that either the party continues or if people within that party feel, uh, you know, aggrieved, mm. should they stay on or, or, or quit? Mm. I believe uh, what the big reason, the major reason why there is no avenue or window for, 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 for departure or for exit mm. is one, mm. because that contract with the people is binding. So, so they have to remind themselves, mm. no matter how interested they are uh, personally mm. in different ways, whatever ambition the deputy president has got, whatever uh, the president himself wants, whatever all the people around the two of them want, they must remember that that, 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 that must be served. You know, you know, abdicating on that contract is extremely consequential. And I'll tell you how consequential it is. Even the de deputy president himself running for president in 2022 on an empty promise uh, note whereby he'll be saying that we said this, it was not done. We said this, it was not done. Uh, I promise you that there'll be hard questions for, for, from the electorate. He can so, probably so, say, so, but it wasn't for me to so, do. You know, I was only deputy. There you, was you, president. You, you know, and let uh -huh. me tell you what, what will be happening. And you have seen this happening many, many times over. Now, when it comes to election time, Trust me, now people start asking hard questions. This time it can look easy. You mm. can, you, we, we, we can walk around and sing in the sunshine and look like things are... But mm. wh when it comes to that time, because it will not be only one candidate. Remember, probably Raila Odinga will be running with his stories. Mm. And, and, and whatever mm. he's saying, another yeah. one will be running. And mm. so it will be a competition at that particular time. Mm. You know, excuses will not, will not work at that time. And, and that's why the two of, the, of, of them, uh, the Jubilee leaders, must, must run. What I'll be saying to, to, to all these... Uh, guys around them, about them, uh, below them, mm. uh, whether it is uh, Kina Senator, Murkomen, and all others, and uh, the people, uh, within, even within the party, I would tell you one thing, and I would advise them one thing. You know, for the sake of the people of this republic, you know, you know discipline yourself. I, I, I don't think that it, that it takes too much, for example, uh, that when I'm speaking about uh, William Ruto, mm. I'm speaking about the president, to remember that one, those are, are, are my party leaders. Number two, that these guys, even in the eyes of the people, you show respect for those people, then even, even, even the served, the, the, the one inch, will also, also, also want to follow uh, these people and, and believe in them. I think, uh, you know, those, those, those kind of slips, if it was intentional, and that's why I've, I've avoided going to that route because I wanted to give Murkomen the, the opportunity himself to say it to the people. Is that, was he speaking on his own behalf or on behalf of and uh, you know, the deputy president? And you know we did and more than and, once. And by the way, for the record, we continue to leave um, you know, that open invite to the senator. Of course, he was not yes. available today, perhaps at another time. Maybe at another time he, he, he can come right. in and, and discharge him. But, but, my, but my position is, is one, uh, as, as, as an elected leader in Jubilee. Mm. I think it is irresponsible. That, 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 that when we make uh, remarks, we have to make our remarks, our comments, our campaigns, whatever you want to be, mm. or, or whatever issues you might have, make, make, make those issues only uh, about yourself and for yourself. And remember, there is a bigger picture, there is a bigger game, there are bigger stakeholders in, 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 the, whole, in, in, in the whole of this game. Okay. And, 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 and I think, um, uh, or because he didn't come... Can I ask you something? I just want to be cheeky tonight, because we're out of time anyway. <laughs> You yes. jubilee people, you should apologize to the people of Kenya, don't you think so? At the very least, for treating us to all these shenanigans with the burden of promise yes. on which you entered. And you've listened to Njugosh earlier, the comedian who uh, spoke on this program, just about the sheer disappointment um, that Kenyans have at this time. I mean, can you at least own it? And that by continuing in this equation or in this unhappy marriage without a certain end or direction to it or discipline from the party or hey a comment at least from your secretary general on how matters are conducted jubilee you you know it's disrespect to the people of kenya collectively on your part you, you know uh, and um i'll tell you and every every kenyan knows this that our starting was fantastic 
the things we said to the people and we have started to do and done partly, some of them are wonderful for this country. And, and uh, if, 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 it is about, if it is about a grand vision, if it is about things that would have turned this country or turned this country around, it is what Jubilee has offered the people of this country. It is what we have shown that we're able to do. Indeed, if you look at what we gave to the people, that's why uh, Jubilee was... That able to do. Uh, that's why Jubilee was re-elected a second time. Mm -hmm. Now, that is why I must say with a straight face mm. that if we do not change what is happening within the party, if we do not address those issues, if people don't find their heads and their senses and get back to serving the people mm. and not putting politics first, uh, then it's going to be very messy because at the end of the day, when Uhuru Kenyatta is, is leaving, he will have to answer to the people, what is it that you did and you told us you do that you did not. They will ask William Ruto in 2022 when he is running for president uh, at that time. He'll have to tell the people, why did it happen? Even Wamatangi myself mm. in Kiambu County, mm. I'll have to tell the people of Kiambu, why didn't I do what I was elected to do? Because uh, the, the, this whole thing uh, affects uh, the, the, the entire of, of the train. You know, you, you cannot have a mess between the first two uh, engines yes. and, and, and then uh, things are rosy in the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so, so uh, about the apology to yeah. the people of Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, we are not yet at apology time. Yeah. We have still time and the, and, and, and the room to get things My corrected. dreams have been shattered. Imagine a politician who can't apologize. Oh, mind no, blowing. No, I, I mean, you know, you certainly no, don't bear you, the burden of it all. You, 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 I think you, you're, you're the you most know, poisoned you know, of the world. Yeah, we're I, out of time. We're I, out of time. I, 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 I will apologize yeah. if my leaders don't, don't work, if they don't uh, get their act together. Right. And we get to 2022. Our apologies on my behalf. But for the people of Kiambu, I serve them every day. I do what I have to do as yes. a senator elected to serve the people of Kiambu. And the people of Kenya as a senator, I do my best. Ah, so yeah. for me, I will not apologize on my behalf. I'll, 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 I'll replace the apology with work. <laughs> right. I hope they do too. Senator Wawatangi. Thank you. I'm a Jitetea Sana, right? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Did Thank I? you. It's a pleasure hosting you for the first Thank time. You. And you're welcome back Thank on Punchline. That's our time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good night. God bless.